this lesson we'll be going over the use of combo fix. So we'll go to where we download the files and you see the program here with the red circle it's called combo fix. What we're going to do is copy that and we're going to paste it to the root of the C drive which is your main hard drive. So just go to your C drive, right click and click paste. So what we're basically going to do is restart the computer in what's called safe mode with command prompt. So you're going to start, restart the computer. And here you see when it comes up and you're starting in the safe mode, you want to choose safe mode with command prompt. Click on that, click on yes, and just keep on going. And this is basically a very minimalistic mode of Windows, even more than just regular safe mode because the Windows Explorer doesn't come up, so it's just the command prompt. So click OK to load in, and that's what you're going to be, uh, you basically just see command prompt here. So once you see that, we're actually in the Documents and Settings Administrator folder, so we want to go back to the root of the C. So you hit CD space dot dot, hit Enter, stands for Change Directory, and do that again, and that brings you back to the C of your C drive, then you type in combo fix, and that will run the program. So you click I, I agree. Now it's basically setting the program up to run. Now the reason we're running it in safe mode command prompt is so that just in case uh, in this mode, it's very unlikely that a virus will start up because a lot of them are attached to the Windows interface. So by running it in command prompt, you're less likely for it to start up and be able to interfere with your uh, combo fix running. So just click OK to whatever comes up there. And then here it actually is starting to run. Now it goes through various stages. So right now it's just kind of starting up and it'll ask you if you want to install the recovery console and I'd say most of the time just say no because you don't really need that to run the program. So you just click no. Now when it's running it'll state that it'll take as long as 10 minutes to run the program and it can actually vary. Uh, sometimes if you have a fast computer and you don't have a lot of uh, files on the computer, it might only take five or six minutes to run. And other times it might take 30 or 40 minutes. On average, it's usually somewhere around 10, 15 minutes. So there it's going. Now basically it says complete stage one, two, three. Uh, the first five stages usually go the slowest. So that might take up a third of the time. Uh, there's a total of about 50 stages it goes through, but again, it, it's not very linear. Some will complete in a few seconds, while others might take a minute or so. So right now it's at 5. So what we're going to do is jump ahead to it almost being finished, and then we'll pick it up from there. Okay, here it is almost at the end. So it completes its 50 stages. Now that doesn't mean it's actually finished because it has some other cleanup it does. So as you can see here, it actually, any files it finds, it deletes. It'll give you a list of files that it found. And also, uh, it may or may not reboot your computer, but it'll tell you beforehand. It'll say, like, it's going to be rebooting the computer. Don't do it yourself. And if it finds any files it's having problems replacing, it'll tell you. But uh, most times, it, it, it uh, doesn't have any issue with that. And then it'll get to this point where it says it's preparing log reports. So again, this could take a minute to finish up. It could take five minutes for this part. So you just have to wait until it's finished. And once it is finished, it'll pop up a log report. But you just want to wait for it and just watch it. And it'll finish up its last few stages here. And then when it's done, it says it's going to prepare a log report and it'll be under the root drive, root of the drive called combofix.txt. So again, at this point, it usually takes a minute or two. And then here it is, it popped up the log report. 
and then restarted Windows Explorer. So you can just look through the report, see what it deleted, see what other things it found. And that's basically it. Now, occasionally you might want to run it uh, a second time after doing some other scans, but this will get rid of most viruses in spyware, so uh, it's pretty much how to run combo fix. If you'd like to see more Windows 8, Android, or Beginners videos, click on one of these video clips, and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.